Hi, I'm Tom, one of the trainers at the Princeton Club, and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do biceps and triceps off the three motion dual cable cross machine. It's a great exercise, two, two great exercises that you involve stability, strength, and balance, all three in one. I highly recommend these exercises. Not enough people use these free motion machines and they're available to everyone. We're going to start off today by doing a bicep curl laying flat on your back. I'm going to go ahead and set the adjustment. There's two ways to adjust the machine. It's uh, left to right and then top to bottom. We're going to go ahead and set the adjustments from um, right to left. It's pretty well set where I want it to be on the number three. There's a number three here. Um, these move in and out. Take a look at this, it comes all the way out to the number 10, and we're going to put on number 3. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring the handle down so it's on the number 9. We're going to set the same one up, this way up exactly the same way. We're going to be on the number 3 here, and on the number 9 here. All right, so what, what you want to do is you want to get the ball so it's further, far enough away from it, from the machine, and sit back so that you have to reach pretty far forward to grab the handles. When you grab the handles, make sure that the cable's slightly taut. You're going to go on your shoulder blades, and you're just going to go ahead and curl up just like this. I'm actually going to move myself further back a little bit. You want to make sure you're on your shoulder blades and not on your, on your lower back. So I'm doing a reverse plank and I'm just curling up. The goal is to keep your elbows stationary and to move your forearms and your hands up towards your ears. Just going to pull. Just exhale on. You're going to exhale on the concentric motion or the positive motion. You're going to exhale on the center or the negative motion. And this way is going to up and down. That's it. The next exercise in this series is the tricep extension, laying on your back using the cable cross machine, the free motion machine, the cable cross. It's pretty much what I showed you on the last exercise for the bicep exercise, the adjustments are the same. The only difference is that we're facing out. Set ourselves up so that you're a little bit behind the handle. When you start off, you grab your handles and have a seat facing away from the machine. And then you're going to go ahead and slide forward on your, on your, on your shoulder blades. Keep your, keep your elbows down low and just do an extension. So it's, it's, it's hands to ears and straight out. Keep the elbows stationary by your sides and just go in and out just like that. There's another way that you can do it if you want to, if you pre-exhaust the exercise by doing these until you're almost out of steam, what you can do is you can kind of reach up this way and burn out a few more exercises. But you want to originally keep that low and just move your forearms and your hands and stabilize the elbows. And you're doing a reverse plank, which helps to work your core as well. Thank you. The third exercise in this series with the biceps and the triceps is the core. I'm going to show you an exercise that gets the upper abs, the lower abs, the obliques, it's a great overall abdominal exercise. The way the machine is set up today is great. We're going to go ahead and keep it this way, and we're going to give this a try. What you're going to do is you're going to have a seat on the ball, facing away from the machine again. You're going to take the handles in your hands, make sure that the weight is according to what you can handle so that you can get around you know, 12 to 15 repetitions, whatever you're looking for to do. You're going to lie flat on your shoulder blades, and then what you're going to do is you're going to reach as far back as you can, and then come across from left, back to center, and then off to right. So this is the one where you have to have some strength and really some stability. You're coming across, side to side, and it really gets all regions of the abdominal. And I would perform at least 10 on each side. Side to side. And I'm sure that you'll feel that. Don't be afraid of the free motion machine, it's your friend. Thank you.